Golden Lane was the result of a competition-winning design from the early 1950s for a new housing estate on a site in the City of London which had been flattened during the Blitz. The developer, City of London Corporation, appointed the winning architects Chamberlain, Powell and Bonn. Together, they designed over 500 apartments and maisonettes in a mix of medium and high-rise buildings. But they also provided a vast array of facilities for high-density living. The result was the first truly mixed-use urban village and was completed by the mid-1960s. The most common type of apartment on the estate is, is a maisonette or duplex, and there are six blocks of six floors worth of maisonette. There's also one tower, which is 11 storeys high, and there's also Crescent House, which is the one that fronts onto the main road, uh, which is mainly studio apartments. So there's, on the whole, there's housing for single people, for families, and for groups of two or three. The estate, which is now 50% privately owned, 50% affordable rent, has an excellent reputation for successful management. Uh, we're here from 8 to 5, Monday to Friday, and we also provide some cover on the weekends. So the, uh, there is always a presence, a management presence, or a state staff presence on the estate when residents need something. The residents are very involved in the running of the estate. They're, it's their decision how the estate is run, and then we just provide them with the resources. I like the fact that a lot of thought has gone into the way the houses have been designed. There are lots of really rather surprising details. It's surprisingly spacious, and despite the fact there are about 500 flats and maisonettes, it feels like a very easy place to live without feeling overcrowded. I came and looked around and I was shown little bits like the recessed um, shelving that sticks out into a street effectively from beneath the windows. All of the glass with the light running through it was just beautiful and the way the flats seem to fold up like origami. It's a small space, a lot of small spaces, but they fold into each other in a wonderful way. It feels unusually like they've, they've managed to wander through it in their mind while they were designing it and think about how you'd open the door, how you close the door, how you could get the most out of a small space. The thing that really struck me about it was that people nowadays feel that if they wish to impose themselves upon a building and then when this was built, there was an assumption that architects knew what was good for you and you would move into it and live in it and inhabit it that way. The estate does foster a very good sense of community. At the centre of the estate, and this is really unusual, is, is a public swimming pool, the only public swimming pool in the City of London. There's also a badminton court, there are also tennis courts, all available for residents. There's a community hall, there used to be community workshops and there's an arcade of shops so it's in many ways a truly socialist vision of housing which has survived. Mm -hmm.